Welcome. My name is Christian Larsen. I'm a medical doctor specialized in orthopedics, having 30 years of experience, both field research and clinical practice. And I'd like to talk to you about the blueprint of the human body. When I was a medical student, I had a very inquisitive and curious mind. And besides studying all the details in anatomy and physiotherapy and physiology and sports science, I was interested in finding a deeper understanding you know, of the human body and how it works. So I had questions, questions like, why does the elbow bend forward you know, and the knee backwards? And my professors and teachers said, well, you know, this is a really good question, but we have no idea. And so I started a small research group to find out more about how all things you know, in the human body are interrelated and what's the blueprint of the human body. And first we studied you know, anatomy, biomechanics, you know, all those sciences. And the second approach was we studied baby movements, animal locomotion. And the third approach, and that's where we found the answer, we went back in time focusing on evolution and we found that 380 year, million years ago, so it's quite a long time, when fish were launching ashore on dry land, they had to transform their fins into limbs. And they did that in a very specific way. I want to show you how they did that. So the front fins, you know, they were actually, you know, turning forward and inward so they could pull the body you know, forward. And the back fins did the opposite. They were turning outwards, you know, and backwards so they could push the body forward. And this was the answer, you know, why the elbow bends forward and the knee backwards. So we were continuing our research in this area and finding out more about those rotation, counter-rotation movement of the limbs. And we found that the spine, you know, the central part you know, of the human body, in evolution, locomotion started with lateral flexion, and then later on mammals came, and the predominant movement was flexion extension. And the human being walking upright on two legs, you know, the predominant movement is a spiral movement, it's a spiral twist rotating to the left and rotating to the side. So here we had the blueprint consisting of a double helix turning left and right of the spine and single helix for the limbs, you know, the arms and the legs. So on the next step, we were putting in this into practice and see what we can do with that. For example, if you do sports, recreational activities, you can use this for jogging. It makes your movement more elegant. It makes it more economic. You can use it, you know, in sports for any discipline of throwing, you know, for tennis, for golfing. You can use it, you know, for boxing to develop power, you know, for karate. So it's always the same movement because the anatomy, you know, how the body has been built by nature is always the same. And the second uh, area where we could use this is in medicine. We could use it for diagnostics. For example, if I see somebody moving and having a shoulder problem, or I see somebody walking, having a knee problem, I can see the spiral three-dimensionally and I can see where it deviates you know, from its original plan. It's like a straight line. It's easy to see when the line is not straight anymore, but it's a curve, you know, bifurcation. So it becomes very easy to, to establish functional diagnostics, whether you know, a movement is according to the spiral principle or not. And of course, the worst thing is if all three dimensions you know, are in its opposite, then you have a reverse spiral. And that creates you know, a serious problem. So, and having established these diagnostics, we could use this for therapy, for hands-on therapy, for prevention, you know, for education, for rehab, you know, for training, become more elegant in dance, more powerful you know, in sports. And so far, you know, we have 25 years of experience in, in teaching this and using this for therapy. We have trained 5,000 professionals medical doctors, therapists, you know, dance teacher, yoga teacher, sports scientists. And we have also published 20 books, you know, altogether almost half a million copies sold. 
And this know-how, this knowledge about the blueprint of the human body and the basic print, the spiral principle as the building block has been very you know, effective in everyday practice. So I'd like to summarize and make four statements. First, nature works by principles. Second, you know, the helix is one of those building blocks. You can scale it up and down from spiral galaxies to the DNA or nature, plants, growing snails. And third, you know, the helix is the key principle of the human body. It's its blueprint and consists of double helix turning left and right for the trunk and single helix for arms and legs. And fourth, most important, you know, you can you have only two choices. You can either work, you know, with the blueprint of your body or you don't. You know, those are the two options. And today I'd like to invite you to make this choice, you know, and to really upgrade your body.